Hi guys, welcome to Multifamily Mondays. My name is Pam and I'm here to show you how to use LoopNet.com to search for your multifamily properties. Now I was able to buy properties from searching on LoopNet.com so you guys can start off for free as well. You don't have to pay for their membership to find some of these properties. So are you ready to learn some more? Let's get started. Here's how LoopNet looks like. And take a look at its logo. It's like a star and, I don't know, something going around in a circle. Um, so CoStar bought them. So you're gonna see that they also, I believe, own, is it apartment.com? They're just, you know, they're just trying to expand their business. So if you see a similar logo, chances are CoStar owns it. So in the middle here, you're gonna find for sale, for lease, or businesses for sale. For the purpose of this summit, we're doing multifamily. And I'm just gonna throw in LA, just because that's close to where I am. But let's take a, a quick search. So you just click search, but you can type in in here any location. So once you click in it, it just kinda uh, makes it disappear. So let me go back to Los Angeles. So as it's loading, what you're going to see on the left hand side is a map. You see all those red, uh, whatever shapes they are, they look like kites to me. Um, those are all available multifamily units. Now, for those of you who have been listening since the get go with Peter kicking off our summit, he always talks about invest in your backyard first. Here's the proof. So, I mean, even though the market may be hard, you can still find a deal in any market. So up here, it tells you the area and you'll see that it highlights everything that's in the LA County for you, I believe. Now, here's where you can toggle for the for sale or for lease, I always go for for sale. And then for property types, it did do multifamily for me, but it just unclicked it because I wanna show you guys where you can filter further. Now you see, I clicked on the down arrow. So for example, highlight multifamily you click on the down arrow, you're gonna get different types of multifamily uh, properties. They all come in a different story, a different, uh, you know, uh, it's a different strategy and a different play. For me, what I like to do is highlight garden, mid-rise. I don't know why it's double mid-rise there, but high rise. I don't particularly care for dormitories or manufactured homes to each their own, right? And then next, surprising. So you can actually pick the price per square foot, the price per unit, price per acre. For simplicity state, uh, sake, I'm just gonna start off with 100,000. Let's do a maximum of 1.5 million. Okay, so it's gonna weed it down even more. Then the next filter up here is the building size. Sometimes I leave it blank. So in this case, I will. And then more, more filters, this is also great. If you can, if you click on it, all these things are gonna pop up. You can put keywords in it. Um, you can add more things like minimum units. So sometimes I like to make sure that we're operating in the commercial real estate side. And by definition, that is five units and above. I don't care to invest in four units, three units, or duplexes, but some people do, and that's okay. But for me, minimum of five units. Actually, I'm gonna even change it even more because sometimes the five units will, will bring in things that I, I could care less for. Now, here's the cap rate part. I know that for investing, you want a higher cap rate, but you have to consider the market you're in as well. Is it a primary? secondary or tertiary market. So sometimes I don't put a cap rate in because I'm trying to get to know the area. So in this case, I'm gonna leave it blank just to see what pops up, okay? And then here you can also put in the year built. For example, some people only want uh, 1990s and above um, or 2000s, it's up to you. And then on the right side here, they just added that, that's kind of also new, with the opportunity zones for those who stuck around for that session. Um, this is great because instead of trying to search like Google Maps and be like, oh yeah, there's an opportunity zone here that was identified and then kind of superimposing it to LoopNet, they help you narrow it down. 
And I'm going to pause really quick because this is meant to be interactive and I have a question. So I'm going to ask it out loud. Would you consider year built to be an important feature? Me personally, no. And I'll tell you why. Because I've invested, um, I think the oldest building was built in, gosh, 1910. Um, that was a fun one to buy. And the, the most modern building that I've bought was built in 1995 but it's up to your preference. So for me, it doesn't bother me that much as long as I have the number of units and I'm in a good area where I've done the due diligence and I know that it's, it's gonna grow. But like I said, that comes with the intricacies of what you need to consider. If you have like a really old building, like the 1910 one that I bought, we had to redo the foundations, the supports. Uh, we needed to retrofit it to meet the new earthquake standard requirements. Um, so things like that. So that's like extra money. And if you don't budget that in when you're bringing your investor group in for this deal, then it could hurt you. All right. So then uh, at the bottom right, you just click search. So there we go. It narrows down to just two. And let me move my, um, my screen. Okay. So let's look at... There's a San Marino one for 24 units, 1.5 million. Just looking at it already, it sounds, it sounds a little high. Um, so I'm gonna click on it. And you can see from the picture, it wasn't built yet, or maybe it has. So I'm not sure why an agent would put that picture on there unless it's, it's part of the development. So here's what I look for. Number one, the address on top, okay. So I'm gonna check that, is that really over there? So what I do is I highlight this whole address and I'll put it on Google Maps just to make sure that it exists. Um, and then this is interesting, it came up as 24 units, but then when you look here, it says it's a 25 unit building offer at 1.5 million in Los Angeles. So which is it, right? So we gotta do our due diligence here. So there's two pictures. To me, I'm not too happy already. Um, so on the right side over here, you see Tommy Kim. He's the listing agent. So you can always contact him and call him right away. Uh, I'm gonna take a step back here. I, I forgot to start off with LoopNet. I don't know if you guys have heard, usually the saying is, LoopNet is where deals go to die. Meaning the deal's been on the market for a while, no one's biting, it's either overpriced, not managed properly, it's just not an attractive deal to buyers. And so they say it's where deals go to die. But I'm here to tell you that's not necessarily true because I did buy my um, some of my first few properties when I was first starting off on LoopNet for free meaning like it was shown for free because they now have packages where they want you to pay more to be a member and I don't really think you need to, to do that. Okay, so what does it say? Uh, investment highlights. This is what I like to look at right here. The build is 25 units, 10 studios, 10 one bed, one baths, five two bed, two baths. So if I'm trying to do the math here, I guess it's 25 units. And he's trying to promote it as like, hey, convert it into an Airbnb or a short-term rental. It's in Koreatown, okay. And then usually there's an executive summary. So, to, you know, you just read it. It's kind of like their little brochure for you. Now, more, for more of the savvy brokers, they will actually have attachments that you can download. And I don't know if you guys remember from Peter's, um, Peter's presentation, the prettier the brochure or the pro formas, chances are the numbers aren't really good for a deal. All right, so the key facts, this is a building class B. So um, if you guys are interested in investing in a class A, those are more of the luxury ones. Class B is you know, the next step down. Class C is more of your uh, working class uh, folks. There's no right or wrong way to go about this. Um, it's just whatever you're comfortable with. So that's just something to consider when they put the building class there. And then what LoopNet will try to tell you is, okay, so we did the quick math for you. It's 1.5 mil, it's around 60,000 per unit. And here's the sale conditions. It's build to suit. So already I know this is not a deal for me. Just looking right here and I'm not gonna waste my time anymore. That means not only do you have to pay 1.5 million to just get that, you don't know what condition it's in and then you have to pay an extra amount to uh, build it or to fix it up or whatnot. So this was not a good deal. But just to give you just something to look at, um, they, they talk about amenities, you know, and then sometimes they have links. So OM is the offering memorandum 
for those of you not familiar with it, usually an OM is provided by brokerages. It's like their official um, brochure. All right, so let's see, it's refreshing. Okay, so when you go back, it kind of, um, it brings it all back again. But did you know you can also remove the boundary? So if you see it here, you can remove the boundary. And let's just say you want to draw your own boundary because you'll see all reds popping up everywhere, everywhere else, right? So what if you just wanted to go here? Oops. You know, I'm not a good drawer, but you know, you can just click and go there and it'll refresh and I'll tell you, oh, look at all these properties that fit your criteria. The thing is that you have to just kind of redo some of it when you're on the free part. And to the top right over here, it tells you how many results it's, it found in your area. Okay, so I think um, in a nutshell, uh, that's what LoopNet is all about. It's a great way to start. Well, all right, guys, this is all I have to share for today. I hope you learned and I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you have any comments or feedback, don't hesitate to let me know. And don't forget to subscribe so that you get the latest episodes from Multifamily Mondays. My name is Pam. Take care and let's go create wealth. I'll see you next time.